Hey everyone, you're watching the baddest man on the planet, Transaaron38. And you know what that means? That means that this channel is for adults only. So if you're under the age of 18, go somewhere else. Yo, what is up fellas? I'm your host, Transaaron38. Come at some more Transformers action. Today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Shattered Glass Universe. Rodimus and Sideswipe. And Decepticon Whisper. Ugh. Whisper or Whisperer? But, uh, definitely really cool box set here. Definitely, uh, looking really good. Uh, definitely give you that Rodimus, Rodimus Unicronus look for, uh, Rodimus, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool in, indeed. And then you got that side swipe mold now. Which, this, this, uh, these two characters are going to have to be Armada characters. They better, I was like, I'm sure they will because, but, uh, I'll get more to it whenever I do this rest of the review. So yeah, let's go ahead and crack them out of our cardboard presents that we was all about in the uh, Transformers Shadow Glass toy line. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel and roll that music intro. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here is the new Transformers Shattered Glass Universe Rodimus and Sideswipe and Decepticon Whisper. Ooh, Whisper. <laughs> yeah, I know this box has been out for a little bit, but hey, I'm just trying to catch up on everything. It's like, you know, it's life. But anyway, here is the Transformers Shattered Glass Rodimus. Well, Rodimus Prime, or you can call him Rodimus Unicronus if you really want to. Um, but this is Rodimus, Shattered Glass Rodimus, not Rodimus Unicronus, but... Uh, side Swipe and Decepticon Whisperer. Good old uh, thanks to my good buddy Starscream uh, for pre-ordering these whenever they did come out. Thank you again. Definitely awesome dude. Thank you again, brother. But uh, anyway, obviously, uh, we'll take a quick look at the packaging here. Obviously, set that back. you got a nice picture of Rodimus right here. Then you got Side Swipe uh, and, and Whisperer is now on the packaging on, on this side anyway in the artwork. But... Uh, Definitely, uh, we'll talk more about side swipe here when we get to the back. Um, well, on the side, you got that nice artwork as well. We have Whisper right here off the side right here in jet mode, which is pretty cool. So you're Rodimus, he's a Voyager class, fig Voyager class figure. They're saying it's Voyager class. Voyager, but he's a deluxe. Uh, <laughs> we all know the, the Studio Series 86 is a deluxe packaged as a Voyager. You know how they go. And then we got Side Swipe here, which is cool. Transformers 16 Steps, and obviously the Studio Series 86 Hot Rod Mold tra Transformers 29 Steps. We got Decepticon Whisper Transformers in 6 Steps as well. But definitely you can see right here, this right here got me excited. This this whole this whole side right here got me excited. It was like for Rodimus, but I was excited for this whenever this came out. I was like, yep, Transformers Armada Side Swipe. Uh, it's not going to be Sideswipe, they call it this Sideswipe, but this is going to be Transformers Armada Wheeljack, and uh, I can't remember what his uh, Minicon was, but we're getting Minicons finally. Thank you Hasbro, you know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that is it for the packaging, so we'll just the packaging off to the side here, up on top there. There we go. And here we go, we got the figures themselves. Definitely really cool. You got them in their vehicle modes. Obviously, these are molds, uh, original molds that we already got multiple repaints of. This is a new retold mold of the the Siege, uh, Transformers Siege, War for Cybertron trilogy, uh, and then the, the Earthrise. They retooled this so many times. Um, but this is actually a whole new mold with the front end for this going on here. So can't wait to get a Transformer Armada Wheeljack out of him. Hopefully they give us a spoiler for him for the, the Armada version. But probably not. No. Eh, it is what it is. But accessories wise you do get to Minicon. I, I have him in here in his robot mood. Very nice. We got Whisper here. Nice little articulation going on here with this little dude. You got ball joint arms. Elbow joints. Legs, nice knee joints going on here. Really cool, really cool little dude. So, so not much going on here with him. I'll go ahead and fold him up into his jet mode, which is pretty simple. Just a little bit of a fold, fold here, and then fold, fold there. You know, <laughs> bring this up, and then fold his feet down, and then bring these 
down. He folds up very nicely. He has two alternate uh, vehicle modes for to peg into uh, side swipe here. But uh, there's his minicon, which is freaking cool. Basically, you're uh, like your legend size, uh, not legend size, but uh, your regular minicon size, which is pretty cool. You got the little post back here to post them in, but you can't really post them in on him as well. But there's, like I said, there's an alternate way to do his legs, bring his legs up and around here, and they post. There's actually a peg in on top, like so. And then there. There you have that. Then you can actually push these down in here too if you want to make it look a little bit better. But now that port is available, and now you can actually peg him on top in his vehicle mode, which is pretty cool. The other accessories you do, you get to you get his uh, rocket launcher, shoulder rocket launcher as well, but you don't get his gun, unfortunately. But uh, you do get his batons, his swords, which is basically from Transformers Armada. They just get pegged in on the side right here. So it's like the exhaust. It's all side skirting and trim or whatever. And then obviously you get that same same rocket launcher piece here. Or his shoulder cannon. I'm just go ahead and peg it right there. Like so. So there is side swipe. Definitely love the mold right here with the, with the remold here with the, the Autobot logo slash through and now he's a Decepticon. Uh, just, just basically what he he was it was like on Transformers Armada but uh, how they do with the Shatter Glass universe is weird um, so I'm not sure what what he is in, in the Shatter Glass comic so this is this did not come with a comic so unfortunately but uh since he was an evil Decepticon in this universe he became a heroic this uh, hero an evil Autobot my bad evil Autobot in this this world he became a heroic Decepticon so I like that. And then Transformer Armada comes around and says, when we get to repaint of this, which we will, which we will. And it better not be a deluxe box because it should, it should I mean, a big, a bigger deluxe box, like a Voyager box with him packaged. It better not, it better be a deluxe. But uh, he'll be a heroic, heroic Autobot and he became an evil Decepticon. So, so yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Same, same, uh, same. Just we'll get some more comparisons going on. Here's Hot Rods repaint into Rodimus for Shattered Glass. Really like it. Really love the red. Uh, I really wish they would have done the purple for him for his uh, window. That would have been pretty neat. Like the whole, whole, whole style of purple. Like a gray wing going back here. Same, just going on here with him as well. You do get all of his Studio, studio Series 86 accessories. You do get the Matrix of Leadership. Uh, which is the Chaos Matrix of Leadership, or whatever you want to call it, with the Blast Effect 2, which I already have it clipped. Not too worried about it. Then you get his <coughs> his flame, his flame uh, effects for his vehicle mode. So you still get that, but they're in nice little translucent red. You do get his Buzzsaw blade thing, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And you also do get both of his guns so you can still store his guns on top of him as well if you really want to trying to post him up while he's rotating and then you can still peg this in there's that storage on this you can peg that in it, it, it's a thing you can do still but hey it is what it is anyway we already showed whisper which should shove him off to the side Go ahead and get rid of his weapons because we really don't need to worry about his weapons. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the blast effects. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of shoulder cannon. Now, let's get some size comparisons. Now, obviously, since he's the side swipe mold, well, the siege mold, here is the new mold. Obviously, same tires. Same tires. The wheels, anyway. Uh, mine has like the not, uh, I think it was the JRC design spoiler thrown back but you can definitely see what they did with the retool remold process of this but it's basically the same same continuity with the vehicle mode so yeah so yeah 
We'll go ahead and bring in Studio Series 86 Hot Rod and there's Rodimus. Definitely, you definitely see the difference in the color wise on these guys. So, yeah. Yeah, not much going on. Like I said, they're just complete repaints and add another flavor to flavor to your collection. <laughs> flavor. <laughs> so, yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and transform them. And as well. Like I said, I'm not going to get cover all articulation wise with with these guys because they're the same articulation as the previous molds that we got. Um, yeah, they're all previous molds that we previously got. It's just they're updated and repainted. You know, different head sculpt, obviously, because it's Wheeljack's head from Armada now, which is pretty cool. So, we got him transformed. We'll send him off to the side on my extreme set there. Obviously, wiggle this back in apart <coughs> for Hot Rod. Come on. Well, Rodimus. <laughs> Gotta remember that. Rodimus. Always called him Hot Rod. Either way, like Dark Hot Rod, Nemesis Hot Rod. <laughs> Whatever you want to do with your name your figures it's totally up to you always weird design for his legs always never never care too much for his legs now you can have them out here like this and give them a distinct look but you're supposed to fold that in then in and there we go one come on tab there we go There we go. I'll rotate his waist. It's been so long since I played with this figure. I'll bring these sections up. Yeah, rotate. If it can actually get situated. Come on, rotate. Do 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 do. Camera's on and nobody's home, right? There we go. Rotate. Bring that section back down. Bring his head up. Really like the head sculpt on him. Looks really good. Here you got his hands right. Yeah, there we go. It's been a while since I messed with the 86 mold. So, here we go. We got him in his robot mood. Now, you, like I said, you can give him his guns, his saw blades, yada, yada, yada. We'll just go ahead and give him his one gun. But, uh, really cool. Love it. He has his mustache going on there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Want hairballs? Get out of here. Anyway, there's those two in robot mode. Like I said, you have Whisper here. You can actually tab Whisper on, on his shoulder here if you want. Since you got that port, so you can become a shield if you want. It's totally up to you. And then obviously, the shoulder cannon. Whichever side you want to put it on, it's up to you. And obviously, you get his weapons. His uh, sword, blade, weapon things. So this is the, this is the favorite one out of the out of this box set. So the favorite one out of the box set for me anyway, because I'm an Armada guy, Transformers Armada fan indeed. So yeah. So anyway, there they are in their robot modes, and we'll go ahead and transform these two off camera and do comparisons and final thoughts, fellas. Be right back.
Alrighty, here is Sideswipe with Sideswipe. <laughs> Obviously, you see the difference in Sideswipe. Obviously, I forgot to grab his shoulder cannon, but you know the gist of the mold itself. Obviously, it's sharing the same arms as usual. Same arm bits. Um, just a different slight mold on, on everything. It's just... It, it's... It's freaking cool. It's freaking cool. It's like, like I said, the, the retooling of what they're doing, it's pretty cool. Uh, it does get old after a while, though, too, but... Anyway, there's side swipe with side swipe. So, we're gonna take these two off the side, and here is Rodimus with Hot Rod. See how they look as well? See how they look together? Obviously, they're the same mold, it's just different color with a different head sculpt, actually. So, Obviously, a different head sculpt, and you still do get that uh, his visor slides down, just like hot rods. So, so yeah, you still get that, which is pretty cool. So yeah, so there is Rodimus and Hot Rod together. All in all, these figures are pretty cool. I actually highly recommend you guys picking this box set up. Um, not much I can say, uh, but this box set's freaking awesome. Especially for the Armada version of Wheeljack prior to becoming Armada Wheeljack for the Legacy line. Whatever Legacy line they're, uh, they're doing. I think they're calling it United or something like that. Um, but I've been really, really, really getting picky with the Transformers. Um, just getting tired of the same characters or characters I don't even need. So, <laughs> so anyway, so this is my review on the new Transformers Shattered Glass Universe, Rodimus, Sideswipe, and Decepticon Whisper. Uh, definitely cool figures. I highly recommend you guys picking them up. Definitely uh, really nice figures to add to your collection. And uh, big shout out to my good buddy Starscream for hooking me up with this box set. Uh, he pre-orders the Shattered Glass stuff for me from Pulse. Um, whenever he does his, because, you know, yeah, might as well just pre-order two at the same time, right? <laughs> but, uh, I'm just glad that we're actually getting mini-cons now with our figures. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we get more, more mini-cons coming. Hopefully they give us, like, a mini-con two-pack, like a two-pack or, like, a three-pack of mini-cons, like, for the ones that we missed out on for the first releases of, what was it, Hot Shot? <clears throat> Hot Shot, Starscream, and Megatron. Uh, but hopefully they do something. I'm sure they'll do repaint and, and give us the mini con that way, but you know how they do. But anyway, hope you guys and guys enjoyed this awesome review. This is Transactor 38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos you do. Keep looking out for any new videos headed your way. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to check out everybody else's links out down in the description down below as well. So until next time, I'm here's Transactor 38. I'm out of here. It's time to transform and run them over since they're evil Autobots now. Yay. Yeah.